Now hold up, La Familia. I gotta come back at y'all with another one because that man's Kodak Black is still getting gassed up by Wiz the Wizard's cousin, Spinner Benz. As you know, he goes on his IG to say a few things. And if y'all haven't checked out the first things he said, go check out the last upload. But he says, and at your sidekick at KTB Rico. And he he letting it be known. You know, I want y'all all to know, you know, it's up there. Then he says, pull on, pull up. We're going to have fun with the uh, sleep Z emoji. I'll kill B the whole GA. I know it's dumb. Either we make up like Baby Wayne or Last Man Standing. You don't want no smoke for real. So you can see, man, this man Juan Spinner Benz on the gas. He ain't playing no games. You know what I'm saying? And he really on Kodak Black Top. He also goes on to say, tired of putting dudes and I don't nothing want nothing else. What? I'm guessing he was trying to say I'm tired of putting dudes on and they don't want nothing else or I'm tired of putting dudes up and they don't want nothing else. I don't, I don't know what he was trying to say with that one. But overall, man, y'all can see, man, he on the gas with Kodak. You know, he got some real issues with that man and whatnot. And then next up, man, we got this man, Smoodo RB. As Smoodo RB going at J-Rock and still exposing, you know, the rats. Who's still with J-Rock? Yeah, I was down bad. All y'all know he's the biggest active rat today. He's still taking us down. He's still working for the feds. And y'all still working with him? All you got rat potential, then he shares the little pic that been going viral about the army rat that says uh, when he took out a few dudes and told on somebody, he said these rats in every hood. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, man, that man's uh, Smoodle RB is on the gas with J-Rock. And then next up, we got that man's TBG Ozump. As you know, he's sending a little shiggity as well. And I apologize, y'all. I'm outside the hospital right now. You know, my son in there. You know, his asthma tripping and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, man, still trying to get that grind in. But Osama says, want to confront a snake, find a rat and feed him. You know what I'm saying? Just a little cryptic little message. And uh, it could definitely be directed at a lot of people. But I think we get a little keen idea of who it, who it most likely would be directed at. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know who y'all think he's talking to, or is he just talking in general, you know, about finding a snake? Is he is he talking about, you know, doing some animal hunting or whatnot? And then we got that man's Hancho Yolo, y'all know, out of the Spider Nation camp, you know what I'm saying? As uh, he goes ahead and shows his love and condolences for True Bleeder, which was all the way 100. You see his caption, at True Bleeder, five life with the blood emoji, you know what I'm saying? So that's all the way 100, man. Y'all definitely go check out Hancho Yolo Music, man, because he be coming with that pressure. And while we on the topic of True Bleeder, you know, uh, that man's TG Commas went ahead and dropped the song Slide about uh, True Bleeder. Well, he dropped it, you know, almost a week ago. But, you know, it didn't really get no traction like that, man. So I want to help promote it on here as much as I can as well. You know, that man TVG Com has been going through it. He could really see the pain within that song, you know, that that man is actually feeling. As well as, you know, if you go to his Instagram, that's all he's been posting about. You know, it's TG, uh, it's True Bleeder. So, man, um, man, you know, keep your head up, man, for real. You know, that's a tough thing to deal with. Now, another just brief one, you know, and I just want to ask a question right here. It's been... Over a month since Mozzie signed to CMG, and we've been covering that. Y'all know we talked about it and whatnot. We're gonna stay up to date with it. Now he dropped his first song in there about a day after you know the sign it, which was Real Ones featuring Roddy Rich, and uh, this song is currently at 1.6 million. Now, as we all know, these artists are both you know very in very high regard. Well, not so much Mozzie as Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich was just a few months ago the second highest most viewed artist on YouTube. And uh, this song is only at 1.6 million views in one month. So I want to know, when do y'all think the actual boost that's supposed to come from CMG is actually going to kick in, man? Why, why not on this song with a major artist, man? I, I want to know y'all thoughts on that situation. Now, I want to show y'all something that Quando Rondo posted. And it was a picture where he captioned the picture. I'm living for today. Them choppers ride when I ride. If the streets take me away, a real dude, I passed away pretty much you know what i'm saying and uh the thing is i just wanted to say man you are not in the streets quando rondo you're not in the streets no more bro like you are you highly successful you always on the go you're always in the yo you're a rapper you know what i'm saying so this right here man is what i want to show y'all this is a smoke screen like this is to corrupt the minds of a lot of little youngest 
you know, to make y'all want to stay in the streets and lose y'all lives out there and think that's something noble because Quando Rondo, you know, an idol is actually doing it, man. So y'all don't follow after this, man. Like this is a smoke screen, you know what I'm saying? And I couldn't respect it. I had to speak on it. You know, the most high drew me to speak on it. So I'm going to speak on it. Don't, don't care who get in the comment section saying whatever, you know, that that's not, no, bro, don't follow that. And since we on the topic of NBA, I want to say this because this is something I've been thinking long and strong about, but in all the videos that I've been talking about Dirk and YB, I haven't really much had, you know, uh, the time to say this because I've been trying to speak on what was actually going on and stay away from, you know, actually how I felt on the situation, I'm trying to keep the feelings out of it and just deliver y'all what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want to point this out, man, because it's crazy how, you know, Dirk and NBA Youngboy actually started tripping with each other on these tracks going back and forth Dirk all on Instagram you know sending shiggities like we never seen before Dirk ain't never sent no shiggities at none of his oppositions really on the internet we never seen him talk about you know the uh, actual GDs in Chicago who had done a lot more to him took a lot more from him you know what I'm saying allegedly then you know actually why be in the rest of them you know he took a lot more of your partners you know what i'm saying and all those situations your trench brothers and whatnot you know what i'm saying and we see dark on on inter on the internet throwing it all away you know what i'm saying for this attention and it's just crazy to me because we know he just dropped his new album we spoke on that you know we spoke on whatever in the last video about dark you know what i'm saying and uh the thing is why is it correlating with the situation with ukraine why is it all of a sudden as Russia invades Ukraine. Now you got Dirk and YB tripping with each other at the same time. To me, that is another smoke screen. Get the hottest artist in the world and then one of the hottest up and coming artists, even though Dirk been out a lot longer. We all know that YB is at a way higher elevation than Dirk. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you get the up and coming artists that the streets is listening to a lot. The streets respect a lot. You know, uh, the youngest look at like this is a real one. And then you get the hottest artists who already certainly solidified the biggest artists, you know, of all time soon to be, you know, and not too long and put them two together and make them, you know, clash and bump heads to distract them away from what's actually going on on the news. Nobody's paying attention to, to Russia and Ukraine no more. You've seen all them memes coming out. You've seen all them videos being talked about. All the black folks was locked in on Russia and Ukraine for about 48 good hours. And then next thing you know, everybody's attention has been persuaded somewhere else to this situation, to this topic. You got the Gucci man. Gucci man popped out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, went, sent this shiggy, shiggity. Boosie popped out, sent this shiggity. Everybody was sending shiggities. All these OGs that everybody respected. And and then then Dirk and YB carried on. And that was just a mass distraction. That was a way to get y'all off of what's important and focus y'all on this false reality that they have created that is not important. And we got to stop allowing them to trick us like that you know we got to stop uh, uh being those babies and allowing them to take that candy from us because that's what they doing they taking candy from a baby they snatching vital information away from us and sliding things under our noses and before we know it we're gonna be sitting somewhere in martial law you know locked down you know or, or in a, a situation where the country is destroyed we're gonna we're gonna be having you know one of those um poseidon missiles coming out of the water you know ready to take us out and we not even knowing what's going on you know what i'm saying we, we ain't knowing what is actually happening to us because we so distracted by these situations right here and that's why i always try to give y'all jewels in these videos because i know that these videos you know y'all love y'all artists so i like to do that to grab y'all attention and then give y'all something that y'all should actually know is going on you know some catch on to it some don't but i'm gonna continue to do that man until i pull in all the most high sheep and let y'all know man that that it's bigger than just this you know what i'm saying there's a lot more going on there's a lot of mental tricks that are being played upon your mind and you got to focus your mentality on what's important you know what i'm saying don't spend 100 percent of your day on this if this is the music that you choose and you are an adult do you do your thing that's on you you are a grown-up you can do what you choose to do but don't focus 100 percent of your attention on this you know maybe give it one percent you know what i'm saying maybe give it two percent you know, find your favorite YouTubers, listen to them, you know, find your favorite artists, listen to them. But you need to be focused on what's going on in the world. Focus on what's going on in the world. Try to find somebody that's going to tell you the truth about what is actually happening before you be a lost cause out here. And, and, and it'd be too late. And that's what I don't want to see from y'all family. And that's why I'm going to keep on continuously giving y'all vital information that y'all should know. 
just look at the dates, man, and you're going to see exactly what I see. I seen this whole situation as something funny that just popped up out of thin air. But, you know, that's my thoughts on the take. That's my thoughts on the matter. Y'all let me know y'all's down in the comment section. Once again, I love y'all and peace and blessings, kings and queens. Make sure that y'all drop a like, drop a comment because that helps the video be recommended to a lot more people, likes and comments. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I respect the comment more than the like, but whatever you do, I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications on to all. You know what I'm saying? Share the video if you really gangy, you really rocking out with us. And with that being said, I'm out. Later. 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 Later.